Agmite's help video using the JS Kit commenting system. I'll just uh, quickly run through the basic features of using the uh, JS Kit uh, system. Uh, I've already pre-typed this to save some time. Um, so I've started a new topic and so I've got a heading, GS, uh, G20 Summit in London. I probably want to make that bold. So to make it bold, you just left click, hold down the mouse, drag it across to highlight the text and then click on the first thing on the bar, B for bold, and then click and then you see that it's, uh, it's highlighted. If I wanted to underline it, it would be the same thing, left click, highlight, U for underline, and it's done. If I wanted to undo something, this uh, arrow here is the undo button, and there I've removed the underlining. If I wanted to remove the bold, same thing, that arrow there, and if I wanted to redo it, this arrow here, redo, and it's bolded again. If I wanted to make something italic, again, run that across, and I hit the I for italic, and it's italic. Uh, to spell check uh, your comment when you're finished, basically just highlight the text, and then right click, a box pops up, and you'll see spell, uh, check spelling, click on that, and then anything that's underlined in red, I don't know whether you can see this on the screen, uh, is spelt wrongly, put your mouse over it, right click, and then it'll come up with some suggestions. Today is what I wanted, and then London is wrong, and there we go, there's the correct spelling, and your spell checking's done. Now, as we move along the bar, uh, once you highlight some text, Australian Prime Minister, you can see there there's two links come up. One is unbroken, which is insert edit link, and the other one is unlink. So we want to link this text to a, a website because uh, I want to use it as a reference. And click on that, a box comes up. Simply type or copy your website address into there, which I will. And hit insert. And you can see here that it needs the prefix HTTP. It'll do that for you. So just OK, insert. Now the link is embedded into that text, which is nice and tidy. If I wanted to make that bold so it really stands out, I just highlight it, do that. Now, of course, if I want to unlink it, I use the one next to it. YouTube video, you can insert YouTube video. And so to do that, you just simply click on this icon. Uh, a box will open up on the screen uh, and either copy and, copy and paste the link to the YouTube video in there. In this case, I'll just use this example. Okay, there's the video and we hit insert and it's done. Simple as that. Now to add uh, the last icon on the bar is the emotions. Uh, they open up. I'll just ch choose whichever one you want. Put your mouse over it. will tell you. Cool. We'll insert that one and that's done. Now to add pictures, you can add up to five pictures with your comment. Simply click on there. A browse button will come up. Click on that which will open a box on your computer with your photos in it. Now with your photos, it's best if they're under 100 KB. Uh, if they're much over that, they won't upload. Uh, we'll choose this one, open, and it'll add the photo. I'll just move this up a bit so you can see. I'll try and move it up a bit so you, oh, there we are. And there's the photo. If I want to add a caption to the photo, just simply click there and type in the caption. Four leaf clover. Hit the browse box and there we are, you've added a caption. You can add five of those photos and just briefly uh, another feature on the bottom of every comment you'll see this more box. Drop that down, you can see the user's profile. Mark comment as offensive, if you find the uh, comment offensive you mark that there. Uh, URL for the comment, if you click that on it opens another window which then gives you a URL direct to that comment uh, and then you can vote each comment up or down just simply yes I like that comment or no I don't like that comment and they're the basic features now if you've got other questions just leave it as a question on the forum and one of the uh, members of the community no doubt will answer it for you so that's basically how it works it's a very very simple system and very powerful